Thanks, Tom. Good to be with you. You bet. And joining me now is the executive director of the Log Cabin Republicans, Gregory Angelo. And Gregory, I'll go back to what we were talking to Governor Huckabee about, is, uh, you know, the Republican Party is trying to figure out its future and trying to be inclusive on immigration and inclusive on gay marriage. And, and uh, you know, the Governor Huckabee said the evangelicals will walk if gay marriage is uh, law of the land. What's your take on that? Yeah, I don't really understand how that could happen, Tom. You know, the fact is there are quite a number of gay individuals out there who are supportive of their own freedom to marry and also who are pro-life. There's also, obviously, a great number of evangelical Christians out there who are pro-life, and I certainly don't see them abandoning the Republican Party to support a bunch of pro-abortion Democrats. I think we can reach some common ground and understand that there's a difference between civil marriage, which is a sheet from the government that you get that allows uh, same, that would allow same-sex couples to marry, and a sacrament of holy matrimony, which is something that occurs in a church, something that occurs between a loving and committed couple, God and a minister who blesses that union. We're fighting for the former. We're not fighting for the latter. I think if we make that distinction, I think if we show that and, and remain true to pro-life principles, I think that there's still some common ground that we can have with evangelicals in the party. There's room for us both. Well, and I guess the question also is where would they go? Uh, but but you bring up a very good point. That's what we were talking to Tony Perkins about, this business of, of um, debating what it is that we want. And, and you see it all over Facebook this past week was all those equal signs on people's Facebook yes. accounts. And, and I think most of us are for equality. Equality is the key, but equality and marriage are not necessarily the same things. Marriage defi is, is defined currently as between a man and a woman. But what if we threw marriage out of the government and just let the government deal with civil unions? You get a license, I get a license, we all get licenses. And if you want to get married, you go see your minister, priest, or rabbi. Sure, I, I understand that argument. I know where people are coming from when, when, when they say that. But the fact is there are just too many uh, uh, parts of government, too many laws that involve marriage. Justices in the Supreme Court cases just this week mentioned the fact that there's over 1,100 statutes in federal law that involve the word marriage. It's not just a matter of getting marriage out of the tax code. Uh, it, it goes far beyond that. We're talking about benefits, partner rights, uh, access to um, uh, hospital visitation, etc. So anyone who says that we should get government disentangled from marriage, I would challenge any sitting congressman, any sitting senator, any Republican to put forth a bill. Put out a bill there that says you want to abolish marriage in the eyes of the federal government. I don't see much traction happening there. So we're dealing with the reality that marriage exists. You have committed same-sex couples who want to engage in civil marriage partnerships. And that's all that we're fighting for. So interesting, I, <clears throat> I did not realize there were 1,100 statutes, but you bring up a very interesting idea. Is there, is there a legislative answer to this? Could somebody propose a bill to take out the word marriage, put in civil union in every federal statute, and would that pass? Well, I, I, I think, you know, obviously we're dealing with hypotheticals here. I'll look to Senator Rand Paul, and at least he had the, the courage to actually put his words into action. He said that two weeks ago that his solution to this would be taking marriage out of the tax code. He's the only person to even float a specific idea. But again, there's no bill that's out there. And I don't see uh, any, any legislator putting out a bill that would completely abolish marriage. So again, we're dealing with the practical reality right now of marriage as an institution that exists, that is exclusive to committed same-sex couples who want to marry. And all we want is those same rights, protections, privileges, and to be fair, responsibilities and burdens that come with marriage. We just want equal, equal access, equal protection to those rights. That's do, all we're do, looking for. Do the log cabin Republicans uh, lobby? Do you go in and say, hey, how about a bill? Uh, right now we're lobbying for re repeal of the Defense of Marriage Act. We are looking for more Republican supporters of the freedom to marry. I'm on Capitol Hill more than more than half the time I'm, I'm here in Washington. I'm talking to Republicans who are open to hearing more, and some Republicans, certainly Senator Rob Portman, uh, Congressman Richard Hanna, Congresswoman Ileana ross Lightning, all Republicans who currently support repeal of the Defense of Marriage Act, and any Republicans that, that say they want to get government out of the marriage business, I always challenge them and say, 
go for it. Put out a bill that abolishes yeah. marriage on the federal level. And that, to this day, I've yet to get anyone to take me up on that offer. Well, it's an interesting idea. We, we wish you well. Gregory Angelo from uh, Log Cabin Republicans, thank you very much. My pleasure. Up next.